Hi, I'm Eileen Weir, the mayor of the city of Independence. I'm up here on the Independence Square today at Common House, which is a great new business that's opened up here in the last year. And they're just a wonderful gathering spot if you're looking for a place to be up on the square. I'm here today to talk about some of our outstanding volunteers who have been helping us out throughout the years, but in a special way during these last 10 months that we have been under a state of emergency and responding to the global pandemic. A few years ago, we developed a special coin um, that I give out to people who do exemplary things in our community. And we give these out very infrequently. On the front, it says Independence, Missouri, a great American story with our brand and our brand statement. And then on the back, there's a quote from President Truman that says, actions are the seed of fate, deeds grow into destiny. And it says for an exemplary act. We've had an incredible outpouring of generosity this year through citizens who have done everything from sewing masks and distributing them, directing traffic at our farmer's market, helping with food distribution and packing boxes, and just so many ways that our community has reached out to one another to support each other through this very difficult time. But today I want to recognize five very special people who are volunteers for our city. Um, the first one that I want to recognize is Lindsay Chow. I think many people in Independence have probably come across Lindsay. He is an incredible volunteer. He is a uh, volunteer in police service and helps out with our emergency management in a really significant way. He, he helps with all the logistics. He set up all of our testing sites. Um, you might remember originally we were doing testing sites in various locations around the city to be accessible to as many people as possible. Ultimately, we did all of the testing at Adventure Oasis. And I can't tell you the number of hours that Lindsay put in setting up those sites, coordinating it, doing those logistics. He also helped with our food distribution. Uh, we received a grant from the USDA that allowed us to do food boxes and we handed out tons and tons of food boxes to people in our community and Lindsay was a huge part of that. So when I was thinking about people that I wanted to especially recognize this year, the very first person that came to mind, of course, was Lindsay Chow. So congratulations, Lindsay. Thank you for all that you do for our city. The next person that I want to recognize is Dr. Sharon White Lewis. Uh, Dr. White Lewis is a PhD prepared nurse and she runs our Medical Reserve Corps for the Greater Kansas for Greater Kansas City. So, the Medical Reserve Corps is a region-wide organization that recruits volunteers, both medical and non-medical experienced volunteers, to help us with all kinds of things. So, the Medical Reserve Corps is who we called on to help with contact tracing, to help with testing, and we certainly are going to be calling on them to help with vaccinations and Dr. White Lewis is the person who coordinates that Medical Reserve Corps, not just for the City of Independence, but for our entire region. Um, she's been a key person of our um, team during this time and a key person of the regional team. She attends all the MACG meetings and is a really critical person to helping us respond to the pandemic and access the Medical Reserve Corps. And if you want to volunteer for the Medical Reserve Corps, I would absolutely encourage you to do that. So Dr. Lewis, you've been amazing. It's been a joy to get to know you during this time. And um, I'm honored to recognize you with this special coin this year. Um, the next person that we will be presenting a special coin to is Carol Liebold. Carol is a Missouri Certified Emergency Manager Level 2. She co-created the and led the Independence Disaster Animal Response Team in 2005. In 2009, 
She um, became active with the Save Independence Emergency Preparedness Division. Um, she's FEMA certified. She's All Hazard Planning Section Chief and has completed the FEMA Emergency Manager Basic Academy. So she is our Assistant Volunteer Coordinator for the city and a member of our command staff um, and a member of the Missouri Incident Support Team Southwest since 2017. So if you're a volunteer in our emergency management, you know Carol. Carol is the one who keeps us all organized, sets up the calendars, reminds people you know, where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing, and she just does an incredible job. I, I registered to be an official volunteer for the city um, during this last few months because I wanted to help out at our testing sites and I felt like I should just be official and officially uh, sign up to be a volunteer. Carol just does an amazing job. Not only does she keep the volunteers organized, but she really keeps the volunteers motivated and keeps everybody's spirits up. And um, I am really, really honored to have gotten to know Carol this year and to recognize her with this special coin. The next person um, that we are recognizing this year is Rusty Norris. Uh, Rusty, also a very familiar face um, around the city. He is, he leads the City of Independence Emergency Preparedness Division volunteer program. Again, you know, just an incredible resume of education and experience that Rusty brings. Um, he just does a phenomenal job in organizing our volunteers, recruiting our volunteers, helping them through all kinds of training. You can't imagine um, the level of experience, knowledge, expertise that our volunteers have and the way, ways in which we utilize those skills. And Rusty just is such a tremendous leader of that program and such a joy to be around and really just such a, a kind and thoughtful and, and wonderful person. And um, it's a true honor to be able to recognize Rusty for all that he does for the city. Um, the last person and certainly not least is Meredith Parrish. Meredith um, is relatively new to independence i this she's in her fifth year as the director of family and neighborhood services for the independence school district but she has had such an impact on our community in so many ways her background is in emergency management emergency preparedness she has an incredible resume um, and when this pandemic struck us and we declared the state of emergency. We reached out to Meredith and Chief Short appointed her to lead our EFS-6 um, operations, which is uh, really focused on um, mass care and emergency human services. So Meredith is part of our leadership team. She is on our leadership calls each and every week um, and has done a phenomenal job in helping to coordinate and lead our EFS 6 as a volunteer and a special appointment by our Fire Chief Doug Short who is leading our coordination of our emergency response. Each one of these people has gone above and beyond the call of duty in such an incredible way and um, truly deserve to be recognized, um, not only by me, but by our entire community. So we will be presenting each of them with this small gift and as a token of our appreciation. And we will um, have their full resumes and bios on our website so you can learn more about these incredible individuals who have really stepped forward to help us in a very, very critical time. So thank you each and every one of you and I wish you all a very happy holiday.